thanking him for saving our souls. And I just want to say to those who are looking on with us tonight, your soul, if you are not in church, hurry and get in church. It's this imperative more than words can express your soul is at stake. The Lord is coming back soon. Signs are showing that. You read the Bible. Some are not reading the Bible anymore. Come by here 
Patrice, all right, lead the choirs. Our directress will sing her song. All right. Amen, amen. amen. God is good. Yeah. I'm telling you, children, if it wasn't for the Lord, where would we be?
at the cross where I first saw the light and the burdens of my heart rolled away. It was there I faith I received my Our Savior, yes, Lord. come in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray thee to take me out of self that your name will be glorified. Oh, Let the words of my mouth, oh, meditation of our hearts be acceptable in your holy sight. This prayer we pray in Jesus' name. For his name's sake, amen. amen. I will bless the Lord. All right. We're in this my mindset of revival, pre, yes. a miniature revival. And the psalmist says, thank God for Jesus. Yes. He says, I will bless the Lord mm -hmm. at all times. Oh, yeah. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. All right. Psalm 34 and 1. And the subject tonight is sing your song. Bless the Lord. Sing your song. You may be seated. I was a little boy at one time, whether you know it or not. And my mother, my sister called me the other day, and she thought it was very hilarious. She said, Maurice, you remember when mother took us to Uncle on Uncle Lafayette's church, and, and she had us singing, and do you remember the song? I said, quite sure I did. I was about six years old. Five or six years old. And they had to put me up on a box. All right. <laughs> they put, I had to stand on a box. And I was singing, I was sinking deep in sin, far from the peaceful shore, very deeply stained within, sinking to rise no more. All right. But the master from the sea heard my despairing cry from the, you know, I'm an old saint. She said, do you remember that? She had me sing. I said, yes, I remember. My mother, she always sang and played. She played for the church. And uh, she tried to teach me how to play the piano. I thought it was a girl thing. I never learned how to play the piano. But, I mean, you know, that's my thoughts at that time. But, Singing is a great therapy that relaxes intense situations within your mind, in your heart, in your body, in the atmosphere, in your mind, in your body. You would be surprised. They said, Laughter heals, can heal if you laugh. You know, I'm not talking about being an uh, idiot, but I'm saying be childful. But singing has a, a continuous therapeutic uh, uh, healing that many avoid unless they're uh, listening. It's 
all right to listen, but sometimes it's good to, uh, a lot of times, to allow the Holy Spirit to move in your heart. He will put a song in your heart. Amen. You'll be surprised how uh, singing will cheer you. Would, you can cheer yourself up. That's what I'm saying. Many used to uh, use music to put them to sleep mm -hmm. because of the relaxation yes. it brings. Yes. That's right. There is something about music that God loves. And we know this because there will be a, an eternal, everlasting, heavenly choir. Right. There will be no preaching or teaching. It will be a heavenly choir. Amen. Talks about singing the song of Moses. Yeah, all right, all right. There will be an e eternal heavenly choir and singing forever and ever throughout eternity. But there will be no preaching and no teaching because it will not be needed. All right, all right. Amen. 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 All those who will make it to heaven will be transformed. From what we shall be like him. Yes. Music is something that was used to seemingly stir God's heart. Mm -hmm. yes. When Jehoshaphat and Israel led songs and played before the Lord God uh, massacred their enemies. And, and you know the story. you got to read the Bible. Yes. Where Jehoshaphat went to God. See, now this, this group is too large for us. Right. Yeah. Right. This, this, these are too many people. We can't, we can't win the war with right. this. Right. Yeah. And uh, the priests, uh, one of the, the Spirit of the Lord came on him. They began to sing yes. unto the Lord. Yeah. And, and you should, it's a marvelous story how God Interceded yes. and and wiped that entire those I think three or four yes. armies yes. against Israel, Amen. and all they was doing just singing and praising God. Amen. God is trying to tell you tonight: sing praises. Don't worry about who's against you. Don't worry about your enemy. Don't worry about problems or challenges. Sing praises to Him. Amen. The, the the message is the word tonight is I will bless the Lord. Yes. At all times. Amen. Why would you bless him? Because he's gonna take care of the business. All right. That's right. Oh God. We have classifications of various kinds of music, such as uh, spiritual, uh, and 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 uh, you can't. You, there are no gospel songs. It's just spirituals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. They say gospel songs. No, 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 no. Is spirituals. You preach the gospel. All right, all right. The gospel is preached. That's right. Yes. There is there. There's rhythm and blues. There's jazz. There's classicals. And uh, the Scott Joplin's ragtime. Mm -hmm. You have various kinds of music. Uh, you have many other types of musical and music instruments played so harmonious along with singing until it causes one to get into the rhythm yes. of the sound. Yes. Yes. There's a combination of singing and musical instruments uh, that uh, people go and listen to. You know, uh, many many paid much money to go to classicals if they love the opera. Yes, that's right. Amen. Amen. There's many who uh, go to the club yes. to hear uh, rhythm and blues. And there's some in their own homes. They, they have it and 
and they play uh, rock and roll. Then you have just only musical instruments that are really, it's awesome, it's really awesome to hear uh, an orchestra play instruments in harmony. There's also a cappella singing, individual singing and solos that are sung that arouses the emotions and will pick you up. Yeah, you, you, you have a variety of what we call uh, music. Uh, music is appealing to the listening ear. Rhythm and blues was very popular at one time, and, and so was jazz music. And it's probably, probably still is. I don't know what they call this stuff now, it's rapping stuff. You know, where that fits in, but, and it still is. What I'm saying is that people played or listened to music according to their moods, their uh, company, their social activities, or cultural events. Music is used in all facets of our life. Yes, right. yes. Music is used usually before any professional games are played, uh, right. such as football, basketball, other sports activities. Yeah. They use singing. Uh, you hear this, uh, their national anthems being sung. Right. According to how they sing, they give orations. Yes, it is amazing how music is involved in predominant all of our lives. Yeah. The great apostle St. Paul encouraged, encourages us to sing hymns mm -hmm. yeah. and songs. Yes. It is really uplifting to sing hymns and songs. Right. Yes. yes, sometimes music is made by humming. Right. Mm -hmm. Some can really hum. Yeah. See, what's that tune you're humming? Uh, yeah. Yes, some make music with their lips. Uh, I heard uh, Candace making sounds. Candace, that was, you know, my Candace, yeah. with her lips, and I would say, uh, she, pop, pop, whatever that was, she was saying pop, pop, pop. And I said, it sounds like noise to me, but I guess it was music to her. Uh, Exodus, the 15th chapter, verses one through four says, then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and spake, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he hath triumphed gloriously. Yes. The hearts and his rider yes. hath he thrown into the sea. Yes. The Lord is my strength yes. and song, yes. and he has become my salvation. Yes. He is my God, and I will prepare uh, him and habitation, my father's God, and I will exalt him. The Lord is a man of war. The, the Lord is his name. Pharaoh's chariots and his hosts have he cast into the sea. His chosen captains also are drowned in the Red Sea. Now, this was the song they sang. Mm -hmm. Now, let me go back just briefly and put a pinpoint into this, where he says, and the Lord is a man. Now, I've heard in these various different movies now, they come in and say, how do you know God is not a woman? God is not a woman. He's a man. He's a man of war. Men are made after his image no, and man. likeness. That's right. Amen. That's right. God on the, on the sixth day made he a man. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And he took out a man, uh, a rib, uh -huh. and made he a woman. Amen. 
Revelations, uh, the 15th chapter, verses 1 through 5 says, and they, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb, saying, Great and marvelous are thy works, Lord God Almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou King of saints, who shall not uh, fear thee, O Lord, and glorify thy name, for thou only art holy, for all nations shall come and worship before thee. For thy judgments are made manifest. And after that, I looked, John says, and behold, the temple of the tabernacle of the testimony in heaven was open. Singing is a part of God's church. Singing is a part of God's culture. Singing is a part of God's way of life. Yes. Singing is a part of God's holiness. Yes. We hear the prophet, prophetess Deborah in Judges, the fifth chapter. Yes, uh, singing uh, one through five verses. Then sang Deborah and Barak, the son of Abelin, on that day, saying, Praise ye the Lord. For the avenging of Israel, when the people willingly offered themselves. Hear, O ye kings, give ear, O ye princes. I, even I, will sing unto the Lord. I will sing praises to the Lord God of Israel. Lord, when thou uh, winnest out of Seir, when thou marched out of the fields of Edom, the earth trembled and the heavens dropped. The clouds also dropped water. Uh, yes, the mountains melted from before the Lord. Boy, he's terrible. He's awesome. Who can stand before the Lord? Goes on to say, the song says, even that Sinai from before the Lord God of Israel. The Lord's people always sing of his glory, even during adverse times. And I just want to say, as I close this message, sing your song. It doesn't matter when uh, adversities come, sing your song. God will put a song in your heart where you can sing praises to him. When you sing praises, uh, as I, I, I agree with what they say, blessings come down. Now I just want to conclude with Psalm 34 and 1. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. Now, great St. John, I want to conclude this message by saying, do you remember when we had COVID? Oh, yeah. Do you remember yeah. when we were at home? Yeah. We did not uh, stop blessing the Lord. That's right. That's right. I called you and we had a Wednesday night Bible study. Yeah. Yes, we did. Yeah. During the COVID time. Yeah. I even had COVID, but we still had Bible study. Do you remember yeah. on the Sunday twice or three times I preached God's word? Right. Even with COVID. Right. Yeah, but God is to be praised. Yeah. Yes, even during COVID and our sickness, we still praise him. I came to the pulpit with a hundred uh, degree temperature, but I still preach. I will bless the Lord at all times. Don't you know he's a healer? I will bless the Lord at all times. Sister Scott, do you remember when we didn't have food on the table and Mother uh, came in with groceries? Mother Gilmore followed by her daughter, uh, Mary Jo. And we didn't have food on a, in the refrigerator. But here comes the Lord through uh, the mother 
with two bags of groceries saying, I don't know why I'm doing this, but the Lord told me to do this. I will bless the Lord at all times. He put food on your table. He put a roof over your head. God is good. He's holy. He's righteous. Yeah, I will bless him uh, when I'm on my bed. I will bless him when I get up. I will bless him when I lay down. He's worthy to be praised. He's strength in my body. He's my legs. Yeah, I can walk. Yeah, may have a little limp, but I can still walk. I can still talk. I will bless his name because he saved my soul. He's my joy. Some don't know how to get their blessing. Well, you just bless the Lord. You can't get the blessing in the lounge or at a party. You can't get the blessing singing blues. Blues is not joy. It brings you down. But when you bless the Lord, joy bells come in your heart because he's up and not down. Do you love him? Have you tried it? Jesus is a blessing to me. When I call his name joy, joy, oh, joy, joy, joy. I was sitting in my office waiting for the church. Praying that the Lord would hold back the rain. While you all were passing out the dentist to the homeless today. Right, right. Did he do it? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Why don't we just bless his name? Yes, yes. We just bless his name. He hears and asks his prayer. He's worthy to be praised. He's a prayer answering God. And I understand, I understand. After you all finish passing out the dinner today, then it start raining. All done. Don't you, don't you know God is good? Don't you know he's worthy to be praised? I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise. Praise him. Because he held back the rain. You know what he did? He did that so you can get blessed. When we bless others, he blesses you. He's a good God. He loves people. going to receive our Lord's Supper now. I know it's not the first Sunday, but you know what? He's worthy to be praised. Yes. Yes. Our late pastor would say, I trust in God. Yes, sir. All right. All right. Yes. I'll get that too later. But you know, it's just a blessing to be in the house of prayer. Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. When I'm sick, take me to the church. Don't, don't leave me. Take me to the church. Power here. Some, some, some. They stay at home. All right, all right. Instead of going to church. Yes, sir. Come on. Oh, I got to get well. You, you'll never get, let me tell you one thing. If you really want to get well, you drag yourself to church. Yeah. Yeah. You get your clothes on and stop making excuses. Right, right. There's this sometimes, you know, you, you, I'm not saying uh, if you got uh, this COVID, uh -huh. then I understand. Yeah. Then you, you know the days you're supposed to. But I'm talking about my toe hurt. Oh, I got arthritis. Let me tell you one thing. Everybody got something. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Don't you know? Don't you know? Oh, many days I walked there. My IT man was hurt so bad when I was preaching. But thank God I praise this holy name. I praise his word. Yeah. Don't you know when I was sick? Come on, come on. I think over, was it two years? Two, two years. 
I'd have that problem. I couldn't eat. I started losing weight. My stomach was hurting constantly. We would go on vacation. I'd be hurting. I'd come in here. I'd be hurting. I'd go up there. I won't be hurting. After I preached, when I, when I came down, it grabbed me right there. Beat me back. But one day I came in here by myself. All right, all right. I, I stretched down, prayed. I got up. It was hurting more. I right. didn't stop preaching. I didn't stop. No, you didn't. No, I kept didn't. praising his name. I kept blessing him because he's good. He's worthy yeah. to be yeah. praised. Yeah. Yeah. You got to be careful when yeah. you think you got it made. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Right. Satan will fool you yes. and put you on a pedestal in your mind yes. that I'm doing all right. Gotta be careful about that. Yes, yeah. So I got I got my degrees. I got my I graduated from high school. I went to college, got two BA degrees. All right. I was on the dean's list. I got my two masters, one from San Jose State University, one from Golden Gate Baptist Theological Seminary. I got two doctor's degrees. All right. I do. Yeah. Doctor of ministry and yeah. doctor of theology. But you know one thing? Those degrees, I just thank God because it's him who made it. Right. I'm not going to get so high and mighty in my mind. Right. Come on, come on. I'm not going to do that. All right. Because I got my degrees. Yeah. Some people can't stand uh, a little lift up right, right. of society. That's man stuff. Yes. But what does God say? You got to bless him in all yes. times. Oh. Not because he opened the door. That, that. See, we're, some people are up and down, up and down. Right. Oh, the Lord did this. And then when he, Mercy. nothing going on, he, he's solemn. Mm -hmm. Mercy. Oh, Let me tell you one thing. God is to be praised at all times. That's, that's, I will bless the Lord. That's a personal thing. So I'm getting happy when uh, something happens to them. Then they get all down in the dumps again. They got these highs and lows. They go on this uh, uh, emotional roller coaster. They're happy when they eat. Happy when they got a job. They happy when the Lord do something. You got to be careful about that. You know what? What got you there? You got to work hard to stay there and doing the same thing. That's right. That's right. That's the truth. And you can't do it without blessing the Lord. I don't care what you do. You can sit in church with your mouth shut and watch your blessings go down. When you open your mouth and start praising God, when you open your mouth and start giving him the praise, watch your blessings. Yeah. 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 Oh, thank you, God. That's the truth. Yeah. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Let us stand. All wise. Almighty God, as we thank you, first of all, Jesus, for dying on the cross for our sin. You rose on the third day for our justification. Thank you for inviting us to your table. Thank you, Master. Oh, thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. You said as often as we do this, remember you what you did on Calvary. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your you giving yourself the Lamb of God. Pray that you look upon us, forgive us of all of our transgressions oh, us, before we partake of your Lord's Supper. Bless your name for where you brought us from. Thank you for where you brought us, God. Thank you, In God. In Jesus' name, we pray this prayer. Amen. As we take the Lord's Supper, I want to keep it on your mind. This is revival time. Yeah. 
If you really want to go in next year, do it right. Amen. You'll end up right. Yes, sir. You go in praising God. Yeah. Yeah. Don't go in there with that old sex. Spirit, God brought you out of that COVID. God has blessed you. Then you, you got these highs and lows praising Him today. Then they'll say, Oh, my Lord. Oh. Don't you know that's bad for your health? Yes. When you up and down, you quench the Holy Spirit. Right. Don't you know that's not good for you? That's right. It causes headaches. Yes. You'd be surprised how it goes against your body. Yes. When you don't praise Him like you're supposed to. Yes. All right. All right. Spirit of the Lord. He wants to heal. He wants to regulate your mind. Amen. We a church that's be on fire. He says we we should be on fire for him. Yeah. You look warm, he'll spew you out. All right, all right. Deacon reminded you this morning, the review. As I said, over on this side, yes. we don't want to go back. I I see some really good coming on. I really. Uh, 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 look, observing how you're coming in early. That's where you're supposed to do it. You, you're coming in preparing. That's where you're supposed to do it instead of running in at the last minute. You're not prepared. God looks at that. That's like being tardy. I'd rather be tardy for man. And be tardy in God's. I drove all night from Southern California to get back. And we had, we went over to, at that time, Dr. Hamilton in. Uh, what city is that? South San Francisco. And after the service, after that night, my pastor said, well, son, I didn't know he was observing. I said, well, son, you made it. He knew I was tired. He knew I had driven all night. All right. I had taken vibrance and to stay awake. But I was determined to be in church. Right, right. That's where my strength was. That's where my to stay right there. I had a job to do. Yeah, yeah. God has been too good to us. Amen. He's brought us. I want to say, Sister Alicia, I believe, this is my belief, that the reason why your daughter's living today is because of what you've done for this pastor and for this church. I, I just believe it. I could be off, but I don't think so. I believe that. I got, I'm entitled to my own belief. And I hope she wakes up to the point to give her whole life. All right. Yes, sir. Our Heavenly Father, we once again thank you for this opportunity to be in your house of prayer. Pray your blessings upon what we're about to receive to remember you what you did for each of us on Calvary. Yes, you were the sacrifice. You were our substitute. And I will stand. You died for us. But you are our high priest now. Yes. Continually. Yes. Sitting on the right throne, right hand of the Father, pleading our case. Thank you, God. We pray this prayer in Jesus' name and for his name's sake. Amen. And for those who are live streaming with us, God bless you. Until Wednesday, be it his holy will. Come on out. Amen. Amen. Be a part of this miniature great revival. Amen. 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 I know it.
was the 